the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. The Lord makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. You restore my soul, O Lord, and guide me along right pathways for your name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is our shepherd who provides green pastures. Over 30 years ago, my family moved to North Dakota. And that move gave me a new appreciation for the color green, for green grass, and for green pastures. We moved after my graduation from seminary as I was awaiting my first call. We moved while the state was in the midst of a drought, a significant drought. During that first year, I remember having to pull off and stop the car by the side of the road because the visibility was so terrible due to a dust storm that enveloped us. When the dust wasn't blowing, our view was of a landscape filled with varying shades of brown, not green. You can imagine the contrast then when many months later in the springtime, we were in an airplane beginning our descent to land in Iowa where we would be visiting my parents. It, it was like that moment when you are watching The Wizard of Oz, when the movie switches from black and white to technicolor. As we began our descent and looked down upon those springtime fields and lawns, it was as if we were entering the Emerald City. There was green everywhere. And all of those shades of green seemed so lush and so vibrant. It was a landscape overflowing with life. Look around our community this spring, and what do we see? We see green. Green that is lush and vibrant. We see life. I think it is significant that the psalmist speaks of God leading us not just to pastures, but leading us to green pastures. Because pastures that are green bring life. Pastures that are green nourish and sustain us. Pastures that are green offer security and provision for today and hope for tomorrow. Consider the climate of the Middle East where this psalm was written. The norm for that landscape is dry and dusty and brown. In such a climate, a lush, green pasture 
was an incredible treat, a joy, a delight, a gift. This past week marked Earth Day on April 22nd. I will always remember that date because every year we wish our youngest daughter a happy Earth Day birthday. Earth Day invites us to remember and celebrate what God was doing and creating all of those other days of creation before creating humankind. Earth Day invites us to remember and celebrate the gift of life that creation truly is for us through this earth's abundant life-giving resources. Earth Day invites us to remember and recognize that if we are not mindful, if we are not attentive, if we are not careful, our actions and our inactions may diminish this gift and deprive those who come after us from the benefit of all that God has created for us to share. As the psalmist speaks of God leading us to green pastures beside still waters, the psalmist also speaks of the good shepherd who leads us along right pathways, who leads us in the way of righteousness. To live in right relationship with God is to live in right relationship with the neighbor. And in our care for creation, a task that has been assigned to us by God, in our care for creation, we are invited to hear neighbor in the broadest sense of the word. Our neighbors include human beings in all of our wonderful diversity. And our neighbors also include all creatures on land and in the water and in the air. Our neighbors include the plants and the trees. We are all earthlings. We are all created by God for life on this good earth. Years ago, when watching Sesame Street was a regular part of our family life, I first heard this song, We Are All Earthlings, which invites us to remember the many whom God created to call this place home. Imagine a wonderful cast of Muppets offering these lyrics. Some of us have feathers. Some of us have fins. Some of us are furry. And some of us have skins. We swim and hop and slither and leap and soar and run. And we all live together on a planet of the sun. We live in the desert we live inside a tree. We live high in the mountains or deep beneath the sea. We live in tents and cabins, in houses, just for one. And we all live together on a planet of the sun. Floating down a river, swinging through the trees, climbing up a mountain, going with the breeze, all of us can have a happy, healthy place to be if we can float and swim and climb in earthling harmony. We are all earthlings. We are all earthlings spinning around together on a planet of the sun. By the gracious hand of God, our creator and good shepherd, we are given life, precious life, to 
to protect and to preserve and to share together with all of creation. Amen. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to give us a like and even a comment. And please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.